Right now at 3.30, demanding justice. The family of an inmate who died after an altercation with deputies now calling out the Broward Sheriff's Office. They say BSO is covering up the truth and demand to see evidence. Local 10's Alex Finney joins us live in Fort Lauderdale with the story. Alex. Well, Janice and Louie, we did hear from the family a bit earlier. There were tears. There were calls for justice. They just want to know what happened and specifically they want to see the video. I'm crying daily. My husband, my son, that's too much, too much. So many questions from those who loved Kevin Desir. We're asking for you to be transparent and do what you promise the people. According to the Broward Sheriff's Office, 43 year old Desir cut himself with a sharp object and as officers were trying to restrain him, he became violent and then bit at officers. They will go on to say after in the chair, he continued to violently move before becoming unresponsive. Despite all efforts to revive him, he died at the hospital 10 days later on January 27th. Family says Desir had long suffered from mental illness and BSO is covering up what really happened, calling the claims misleading. Currently, we're waiting on a hearing, uh, a date for that hearing. And the video of the incident at the center of this investigation. The family's attorney filed an emergency request this week. BSO telling us jail surveillance cameras are part of the jail security system plan and the recordings from such cameras are confidential and exempt from disclosure. But for this grieving family, that is just not enough. Two daughters without their father, a mother without her son and a brother with this strong message. Do what you promised the people. The reason why you was elected to protect and serve, that's all we're asking for. If there's nothing. And so the expedited hearing for that surveillance video is supposed to be next week. It's my understanding that they are just trying to nail down a date, but it is worth noting that the family's attorney is calling for an independent agency to investigate this case. So much more to come on all of this. For now, live right outside of the Broward Sheriff's Office, Alex Finney, Local 10 News.